Hello, and welcome to Social Dissonance. Oh, see, more people are coming. Hello, welcome to Social Dissonance. This is a durational concert. It's in Athens and in Castle in, uh, in the same time. Uh, we are being filmed, and this film will be archived and uh, uploaded online on YouTube and on archive.org. It's uh, anti-copyright, so you can use the material. It's also very important for us if you can stay for the whole hour of the concert, because we need some time in order to build the situation. Uh, so if you cannot commit for the full, full hour, for the whole hour, it's better for you to leave right now. If you want to leave, you can only use that back door over there. You cannot go from the front door anymore, it's closed. But if you want to live in the middle of the performance of the concert, you should give us some feedback. We have a score. This is our score here. It's a very difficult score. We need your participation. We need your help in order to interpret it. So that's it. Also, I have to say that it's much more preferable if we speak one by one because of the acoustics of this room. It's really difficult to hear what everybody says. So we try to be kind to each other and let each other speak and have... Speak one by one, please.
in the future for a long time anymore. resources that are not enough and makes the most effective use of it. So, but I agree we should make it more intelligent so everybody could participate and it's for the use of everybody. But I don't know another system that is work better than capitalism. I hope I come out living. <laughs> I think this is propaganda. <laughs> enough people to you to uh, überzeugen, to override you that you have to give him your money. to go there, there, there. I have my own position. I, I, want, I want to choose a, a, a kind of this or this. I want, I want, yes, can I go around and 
look for the grooves. And I need contact, I need contact, and I can't say yes, I go there or there. This is normal. Tell us your opinion. Yeah. Okay. I go around. Gesellschaft haben, wo, wo es völlige Gleichberechtigung gibt und keine Unterdrückung gibt und nicht eine gegen die andere kämpft und wir uns frei machen von Geldsystemen, sondern wieder hinkommen zu einem System, was sich verbindet mit der, mit der Natur, in Einklang wiederkommt. Wir haben uns völlig äh, separiert von der Natur und es ist absolut notwendig, dass wir uns wieder vereinen mit den Zyklen, die die Natur vorgeben. Und da ist es wichtig, dass es eine absolute Gleichberechtigung gibt für alle Menschen, die auf diesem Erdball sind, aber auch für die Tiere, die auf diesem Erdball leben. Ja. Okay. Wie sie gesagt hat, es wäre wichtig für jede Person, die die gleichen Rechte haben, und dass wir sie And then, okay. Um, she said that we need to see that every person uh, needs to have the same rights and that we should start to live again more closely with nature and start to use nature more um, sufficiently because we sort of started to live very separated from nature and that is something that's not good. survive or not and that's the only chance we have to be in contact with our earth with the elements of our earth with the water with the fire with the air and so on with the earth it's the only chance we have and I ask you whether it's your power to do that to come in contact with these elements and to to, to do something that not everything is um, uh, that the money decides. We have to decide what is our sense to survive. But I think it's rather unrealistic to have a society without any control because as we sort of learn to live in this society, there's going to be many people who will um, see their chances in having no police, having no um, sort of regulation for the whole population. And so these people are going to use the other people to gain more whatever is the new sort of form of money like food or resources and they are going to gain more than others. And I think there needs to be a control as from a government so that every person could have the same rights and same amount of resources. Freedom of the mind. So uh, I think you have to change the, the, the mind of, of the, the people to uh, get a so social society. Of course, but I'm not sure if that is possible at this moment. I mean, in the future, maybe yes, but at this moment, with the people we have in the whole world. No, this, this is just a, this, just a discussion, I think, without, it lacks, like, like knowledge. This is just throwing phrases which are common. That, that's not, not no, no deep conversation in here. Just like throwing common phrases at each other you doesn't propose, make sense in any way. You can propose whatever you, you feel is going to work better. No, because it doesn't make sense. Propose something that it No, it doesn't, make, it doesn't change anything. It doesn't make anything better. So we cannot have any social interaction with this one. Sorry. We cannot have any social interaction here. Well, not, not any social interaction, which is like, like on the surface. This is just, this is just throwing phrases at each other, which is, it, it's, everybody lacks, lacks knowledge in here. So this is like. Tell us, please. I'm sorry. We need you oh, here. No, I'm sorry. But I, I can't hear this. But we need you here. No, if you think I can't. something doesn't go well, you have to do something to help. What? 
what you call the class with knowledge. No, I don't want to I'm not saying I have the knowledge, but I like if, if you discuss things like this without, like, like you know, without knowing the, the background. I, I'm not talking about things I don't know. Like everybody here is talking about things they don't know. They don't have the knowledge. You you don't know what it's like to live in anarchy. How do you know? You don't know how to live in anarchy. How do you know like what? which is our common legacy. So the communist system is the, co the system that takes care of the common problems. And we have problems which are beyond the individual people. We have problems which are beyond the national state, like climate, like atomic bomb, yeah, which is not the question of an individual. It's not a question of a state. It's over, it's a meta problem. If you drop an atomic so bomb... That, so that's a system that doesn't work. No, it's a system like international law which goes beyond an individual and beyond the uh, national state, which are our problems today. Globalization is our common problem and therefore we need to have a system that addresses the commons and the new communism addresses the commons. Why does it work? It hasn't worked yet. Also capitalism is not... So what, what, do you need to, yes, so what, what, what do you need to make it work? That was a system. Okay, so that's that your idea. You think it's a, what, what do you need to make we it work? We need international law. We need to, to have uh, uh, organizations which are beyond the national states. And we are building them. It's a goal to strive for. We have a common legacy. Uh, we have a common languages and the common rules that we are working What's out. What's the common language? Like, uh, for example, that we're negotiating the notions, like, for example, what communism is, what, what, is, is, what, is, the, what is the anarchy, what is the other option. We are negotiating, and this is common life. And it works, for, because we exist in the I would like to know why, why did you choose capitalism in the first place? But uh, it, that was said before, it's a system that works. No, it's not. Why is it not working? Because of many of the people have not had such good lives that you have perhaps. Okay, how many people have the life in the DR? Because you are not aware of something that happened and had a representation. And what it is sector no, actually no, says. No, no, no. Say. no, no we, are, we are now. No, we are here. Can I speak? Can I speak before you speak? Can I speak and then you reply? I think there's a big difference here. What we're living in our capitalistic reality, and that's what, what I don't know your name, so what he was saying is that it's a global situation. It's not something that was implied as uh, a government that you vote for, or there was like a revolution that took over that country and, and made that established. We are living in a system that is a capitalistic one where there was no choice. No, you talk about right now. Yes, but that's what we are talking about. They are representing what the ideals wait 
they are representing what the ideals of communism are now, not what they were before. He's talking about the communism of now. He's talking about the communism of the future. Of now, yes. Of now. Now communism doesn't work. and also many, many statesmen in America. And they say it's more intelligent to set on renewable energies than on going back to coal. Trump is a, a singular phenomenon, yeah? But the American society in the whole is much more intelligent and they know where's the future. Even also China knows it, yeah? But you're talking like a communist now. No, you're talking like a communist now. But it's also because the question of survival of humanity, it's not economic yeah, interest. But the capitalist the way of making economy is the most successful to, to reach those goals. Because they say so far it wasn't. So the banking system failed. The airline system in the US that is supported in Pittsburgh, from which I flew to come to this event, it has failed. It's socialized. It was bailed out. They did a terrible job on security on September 11th. So what happened? They got rewarded by the government. They got bailed out. And instead of them taking responsibility for the business they're running and doing security, then the government paid for that. So it's a totally failed system. Under Obama, under Trump, yeah. under any of those people, Bush, any of those people. Yeah, but the financial capitalism has separated from the economy as a whole. Yeah, it's a, it's a fantasy. But it's not intelligent enough, and we have to learn from these disasters. But you have, oh, not, nobody of you has a solution, a solution, another system. Because what you say is an ideology. Everybody would like to have this uh, government of the world. Yeah, but we don't get it. What's wrong with this? Huh? What's wrong with this? No, it's, it's, not, wrong. it's not wrong, wrong, but you will only get it with a lot of violence. I, I'm sure about it. Uh, sorry. Ich möchte es ganz kurz auf Deutsch erklären, weil mein Englisch ist nicht ausgereift genug, um so ins Detail zu gehen. Ja. Äh, sorry, es geht hier darum, dass die Sowjetunion und die DDR nach einem Staatskapitalismus sind und nicht richtige Kommunismus. Im Gegensatz zum Konkurrenzkapitalismus in den westlichen Staaten war das ein nachhaltiger Staatskapitalismus. Also ich ich habe den Wunsch, dass wir uns zuhören, wenn wir reden, wenn jemand von uns spricht. Ich, ich tue mich sonst ganz schwer, mich einzubringen. Ich würde mich gerne einbringen. Aber ich finde es ganz wichtig, dass wir uns zuhören und ausreden lassen. Ich würde gerne auf Sie mal äh, antworten, von dem, was, auf das, was Sie am Anfang gesagt haben. Vielleicht muss das jemand Englisch übersetzen. Ist das notwendig? Ich kann das nicht so Englisch sagen. I could try. Translate everything, please. So, uh, first, um the guy who spoke said that the Soviet Union and the GDR weren't any communistic or socialistic systems, but rather a different system, which is also quite the same as capitalism. And that we can't sort of look at these systems when we talk about communism, and that it's just not the right um, sort of point of view. And the lady said that we should listen to each other more carefully, and that she would also like to say something. Um, Sie haben gesagt, es gibt kein besseres System für Sie als das kapitalistische System. Wenn ich mir überlege, dass dieses System uns an den Rand 
der Selbstzerstörung bringt, frage ich mich, ob das wirklich so ein gutes System ist. Können Sie auch zuhören? Erstmal, bitte hören Sie mir auch. Da brauche ich eine Definition von Kommunismus. Dann können wir darüber diskutieren, was besser ist. Das meine ich doch immer so. to um, be possible to have the same um, life standard for every person and that we just need to make things differently or uh, work out things differently because as we are having it now, it doesn't work for every person at least. Discussion uh, about, about uh, complexity and um, nobody understands it and uh, um, it's only simple. I, I think the capitalism lose, lost this room now. Um, <laughs> yeah, ich, ich, ich denke, ich wechsle auch mal auf Deutsch. Also, uh, wir, wir haben einfach darüber zu reden, wie wir ganz gerne um, zusammenleben wollen and uh, that's, that's uh, simple. simple. Warum wir so ein Zusammenleben? Wieso stehen wir da irgendwo in irgendwelchen Gruppen? Eigentlich, was du gesagt hast, geht es für mich nur um eins. Wie gehen wir mit unserer eigenen Angst um? Du hast es richtig gesagt, wir haben eine, eine Erde. Und wir haben Angst vor diesen Menschenmassen, die uns was wegnehmen, die kommen, die uns von irgendwas verdrängen, Arbeitsplätzen, Häusern, Wohlstand. Für mich ist der Kern, wenn wir in den Ecken stehen, dann bauen wir ja nicht Angst ab. Deswegen wollte ich eigentlich mal rumgehen und jeden mal so anfassen und gehen. Ja, es, es geht ja darum, um Kontakt. Und wenn ich Kontakt habe zu meiner eigenen Angst, und die dann teilen mit euch und ihr sagt, ja, habe ich auch, dann können wir überlegen, was machen wir jetzt damit. Es ist ja keine Möglichkeit, wenn ich persönlich Angst habe, dass ich dir Angst mache, nur damit ich meine eigene nicht fühle. Ich würde gerne einfach nicht irgendwo in der Ecke stehen bei irgendjemandem, sondern so was du sagtest, so mich bewegen im Raum. 
Und das geht ja nicht Sorry, nur darum. Ich denke, sie sagt sehr schöne Dinge, weil ich ein bisschen Deutsch verstehe, aber vielleicht können Sie es besser übersetzen. Sorry, in Deutsch ist es einfacher für mich. Ja, natürlich. Es ist einfacher, dass wir hören, was Sie gesagt haben. Okay. Also, wir sprechen über die Bedürfnisse, dass sie zusammen leben wollen, dass alle zusammen leben wollen und die Dinge, die sie haben können, und dass wir nicht in den Kopf der Kopf stehen sollen, die Kopf stehen sollen, facing each other and trying to convince the other group, but rather talk in a group with everyone and just sort of um, throw in the ideas and sort of build an, uh, something new out of it and to yeah, just speak together, not against each other. Um, and, but, sorry, in my opinion, what you are saying and what others are saying, this is, the problem is the side of uh, the side of evolution. Some of uh, the people are thinking like Darwin and Darwin socialism uh, and surviving of the fittest and fighting each uh, one against each other and other people uh, see evolution more like uh, Piotr Kropotkin. Uh, he wrote a book about uh, co-working with animals uh, together and also people together. If people are working together, they are also bringing more things to the good than uh, they uh, are able to uh, bring it for alone. Mm -hmm. And these are only two sides of the same matter. Evolution, but in you can prefer the one side or the other side. And in my opinion, the capitalism are fixed on the Darwin side with fight each to, to each other. That we try to let people that haven't spoken to speak. Yeah. The people that most. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm saying, but yeah. And secondly, if you want to propose to change the structure of what we're doing, you can do that. Hello. We have the green socialists. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Ich wollte auch mal reagieren auf deine Stellung. Also es ist wahrscheinlich eine Hypothese, dass das eine die Münze ist von der anderen Seite. Ganz offen, ich weiß es nicht. Es, es, es stellst du in den Raum. Ich glaube zum Beispiel aber nicht, weil es irgendwo belegt ist in Verbindung in Menschen. Wenn viel kreist und man macht Kontakt und dann, wenn man Verbindung sucht, ja, dann findet man sich. Und dann können die Ideologien nicht so wichtig sein und dann ja, macht man Kontakt. Finde ich das Wichtigste im Leben. Im Endeffekt heißt das aber auch Vetternwirtschaft. Heißt es? Vetternwirtschaft. Also, ich sag in der Kritik, ist das hier ein Ja, schade, ja. Du guckst halt aus der Perspektive der Wirtschaft. Ich gucke aus der Perspektive als Mensch, als einfacher Mensch, wer ich bin. Das ist, denke ich. Und du kannst sagen. Well, uh. Maybe someone else can translate that, because I'm not quite sure how. She said that, you said, I think, you said that. You traveled a lot and um, you had the connection with people there and then that rather we don't need to find a good system but connect with the people with around ourselves and then it will somehow work out because we'll have good relationships and sort things out. That's what I understood. One system and the other system. And I said, for me, this is a question if this is the truth or not. It's your opportunity. I like the idea to move together. Maybe we can maybe we become a movement with the people who want to join you.
getting closer together as well. <laughs> <laughs> and I would like to address a certain uh, problem because uh, we live in the world where our efficiency of work increases and from uh, uh, at least uh, uh, from the 70s, uh, 70s onwards our income doesn't increase. Why it happens so? We are more efficient in work, we, are, we know more, we produce more uh, knowledge and instead of getting richer the masses of people are actually getting poorer. And this figure of 1% of those who are able to gather and amass amazing, unbelievable richness and the growing masses of getting poorer, I think it's a systemic problem. And I think that is a sign that capitalism stopped working and it doesn't address the problem of decent redistribution. We have problems. We have a couple more. So we need a solution. <laughs> we need a common solution. Maybe it's a question of politics. You have to change the laws. Again, politics is a question of the common. We get it together to decide. That's what I understand. This. Yeah. I don't think capitalism is a political system. I no. didn't vote for banks. I didn't, I didn't vote for banks, I didn't vote for big companies, I didn't, didn't vote for international companies. And, no, but I didn't vote for that. If I, if I would vote for a political system and I would choose for capitalism, it would be my choice. I didn't choose bankers to rule the politics. And in that sense, I cannot believe in the capitalistic system anymore because it proves that politics is made by banks and by multinationals influencing the laws of people like you and me who are now standing across each other, which I don't like. But that's what's happening at the moment. I mean, it shows... It's made by a strong minority, minority. Against, against large majority. It's the same in the communist system, it's the same in the oligarchy, the same in the capitalist system. True, but communism was supposed to be dialectical. That means that it should evolve and learn and address the commons and not the minoritarian interests. That's why I agree that communism stopped being communism. That's the problem. Yes. <laughs> That's the major problem. It didn't work for the majority. What, what would be the others that haven't said something? What do you think? So, um, yes. Um, I think uh, I'm standing at this side doesn't mean that uh, I think that capitalism is the best system. Mm, I think that uh, all system, there is no system that's perfect. Every system has its advantages and disadvantages. Um, however, I think that uh, capitalism, there is a key word for capitalism. This is freedom. So with freedom, I can, in the capitalist system, I can do whatever I want. I can open a business, I can work wherever I want, I can demonstrate, I can say whatever I want. And unfortunately, this we didn't have in the communism. I have a sympathy for, for communism because it's a, in theory it sounds it's, it's good, it's perfect, but we saw also in the history, if we look at the track record, the communism didn't succeed, it had failures we saw in Russia. Um, were people happy? that were living under the communist system. And I would like maybe to listen from the communist side, side if they have something to suggest to have a different kind of communist because what was implemented was not uh, successful at the end, it failed. Uh, I, th I think the, uh, one of the reasons it failed it's, uh, it's called in the political theory a convergence of the systems. The systems converge where they uh, uh, getting similar to each other. So in feudalism, again, the strong minority is holding the power. In communism, in this convergence of systems, strong minority is holding the power. In capitalism, strong minority is again holding the power. Thank <laughs> you. 
How do you feel about this? I'm a bit shy to speak English, so that's the reason mm -hmm. I don't say it. Okay, okay. <laughs> How do you feel about this? Hasta que ahora hay que quedarse aquí. Come on, no, 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 no. I'm not the artist. Ah, no, 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 Sorry? Can I say something? Do you remember when she said in the very beginning, you know, she was one of the first to talk, she said, look, um, I mean, we all come from a, uh, from a capitalist system, right? Everyone in this room is from a country that uh, is on top, on the top 5% of this planet. Everyone afforded 25 euros to come in here. 25 euros in Africa means to feed a family for two weeks, right? It's, uh, it's something we can all afford, it's a luxury to be here. So I think where we come from is capitalism, right? And what she said, as you remember, is 
um, we have to slowly evolve the system to make it a better system. But I think everyone who says, oh, I'm anarchist, I don't want any rules, I'm communist, I'm whatever, um, ignores where he or she comes from. And I think it's much fairer to say, look, I am fortunate enough, because I was growing up in this democracy, uh, in, in what we call capitalism, at the expense of others, but I can afford to change that system slowly and convince first my neighbors uh, what, what can we do in order to make this a better system. And, and I think it's very combative, very confrontational to say, look, I'm taking the exact opposite, which I never experienced, and I'm making, I'm claiming you a very bad price because uh, you sort of, um, you are the source of everyone uh, being, uh, being in a bad condition who is not in the system. Was that clear? <laughs> system, we have cheap shirts that you can buy for, for five year or for ten euro, while our kid, there are kids dying from making that little stupid shirt. And we ignore that fact because we want to feed our capitalist system. And that exists thanks to that. I mean, there's no other reason why that exists. And then you're generalizing the fact that we all come from a rich country and from a capitalist past. That's not true. I think that this happens many times that we have an idea about people and making fast conclusions. I think that today people didn't broke the convention that we created at the start, like uh, this division between four dominant ideologies. 
I think it took us until the end. And uh, I noticed that uh, the people who supported capitalism were more outside this circle that uh, we created here in the center. Um, but what happened is that uh, we are continuing doing this uh, ping pong of uh, arguments and uh, we didn't have the um, communal space, like we didn't, uh, at least I, as much as I perceive the communal space, we, like five to ten people spoke mostly all the time and uh, we lost a lot of opinions from other people less comfortable to speak because of language and sound. Others because maybe they're shy. And uh, we want to speak about the commons and we don't have it. we don't have in a room we don't have the commons. Like we 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 have two, three, five sessions of the centers of attention and then uh, other people like they, they disappear when uh, so I that they don't be so comfortable to speak also. Um, but, but there was also a face, I think. Can I add something? I think it's also quite easy for me to hear that you think when something is common that everybody has to speak and that everybody has to have the same idea. I'm perfectly fine with living in a community where people have different opinions. And as long as we can find a connection on sharing, caring for each other and caring for the planet, find that some people have other ideas and not everybody has to speak. When, when they, they have to have the right whenever they want to speak that they can speak, but they don't have to speak if they don't feel like uh, I don't know if you, you read the, the score. Okay, yes. sorry. in Kassel so far. Um, okay, I'm here for a week, but yeah. Um, because it is, I, I, it's very encouraging for me that, okay, despite the whole dissonance, which was great and constant, uh, there was some passion in the room about all this stuff. There was some uh, need of connection and need of communication between the groups and between the people that I haven't seen here in any other day. concerts that I have had here, yes. it is the first time that there was so much need of uh, connection between the people. Uh, all right, of course there were some points such as the center of attention and the people that felt that have confidence and they take over the situation and this is a constant problem and it occurred again today and it, yeah, of course of course, it, there is no reason in saying that when somebody wants to speak, he or she will speak. This goes without saying, but uh, if they don't find the place to express, if uh, all the time somebody else that is more, I don't know, politicized or, um, uh, or confident or uh, uses better English speaks, they will not speak, even if they can't. Mm -hmm. So there is this need to want to hear the other people, but there's, but today I think it was not about showing off that people talked a lot, it was about really wanting to share uh, what they had in mind, and, yeah, because they found this important. And okay, there was the, the, the guy that left, the capitalist one, uh, 
he was all the time um, uh, how's it called? Uh, interrupting everyone and es especially women that he didn't think that you know it was important when they were speaking for you for example you but maybe he found you a better you know uh, com component is it right yeah. whatever uh, he didn't in interrupt you for a reason uh, and nobody said yeah, no, somebody said something about it, but yeah, uh, typical behavior. Uh, what was, yeah. Also the movement, yeah, we had these three groups, but then we had another one in the center and everybody went closer and the capitalists were on the wall <laughs> for a long time. It was it is, uh, interesting, I'm not saying that I'm happy about it or whatever, but it's interesting because all the others we had like a common, uh, a common, a no goal to persuade the capitalists that what is going on right now is not working, and so we found like an opposition in that, and we became like one bigger group towards the other, and there was no. Uh, there was no critique or argument in between the three groups. After some time, it was all towards the capitalists, which makes perfect sense because, yeah, this is what we are living in and this is what we want to oppose to, if somebody wants to. Uh, When you ask, shall we vote? It's uh, giving means to those who didn't speak but just listen. And listening is the value as well. It's an important value to be able to listen. But the thing is to give those who listen and don't talk, nonetheless, some kind of powers to manifest their uh, position. And voting and democracy is such, such a tool, I think. Because you don't need to speak out, but there are...